to remember my mom. Um, it's got a few things. Mainly, it's just a, an opportunity to get together and remember how wonderful she was. Tell some funny stories about her if you got any. Just eat among each other. But I want to sing a song for her, and then we got a quartet's going to come sing a couple songs for her. Uh, just, I mean, we've seen all this stuff in there, but Mom was born December 17, 1932, in Asheville, North Carolina. Went to school in Greensboro, and oh, a lot of people don't know this, but she told me this when I started singing, in the playing guitar and singing. She was offered a Nashville recording contract when she got out of high school. And her father said that Southern ladies don't do that, you're going to college. And so she didn't do it. But she could have been, you know, my father could have been George Jones instead of him. You know? <laughs> 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 I told him to do it. Then you would have had hair. I would have. I've got hair, it's just in my ears. <laughs> Um, I guess Dad and Mom and Dad met in he met in Asheville, met in Asheville, North Carolina, and got married. And um, from there, you went to Chicago, right? Dad was working for Sears. Mom taught school on the south side of Chicago for a little while. They went to Indiana, and then they came back to Florida. And she taught at Westgate Elementary and Azalea Elementary. Or is that middle school they called it there? Um, just to share a, a cute story, the more recent, um, Patty and I met in uh, 2004, and Dad and I were getting ready to go up to the woods for February, and Mom was she was still she was still in pretty good shape, but she was kind of losing her memory, and we just were worried about her being home alone for the weekend. So Patty said, well, I'll just go down there and stay with her for the weekend. And because Patty and I were getting married the very next weekend. So she said, well, I'll stay with her for the weekend. And we'll work on flower arrangements for the wedding and get all this stuff together. And so they're sitting there. They got Sound of Music going on the VCR. And they're singing along. And they're making all these flower arrangements. And Mom's talking about how pretty the, the wedding's going to be. And she looks at Patty and she says, you know, I sure wish David would meet a nice girl when he's <laughs> And Patty just looked at her and said, you know, I wish so good. <laughs> So we we chuckled about that and then Patty reminded her, oh, it's, oh, that's right. But it was just kind of fun. So I'd like to sing a song uh, for my mom. This is one of her favorites that I do. Sunshine, 
Can you just feel the moon shining in it just like a friend of mine? It hit me from behind. Yes, I'm gone to Carolina in my mind. With a holy host of others standing around me. Still I'm on the dark side of the moon. Seems like it goes on like this forever. You must forgive me. If I'm up and gone to Carolina in my mind. In my mind I'm gone to Carolina. Can't you see the sunshine? Can't you just feel the moon? Shining ain't it just like a friend of mine To hit me from behind Yes, I'm gone to Carolina In my mind Gone to Carolina in my mind See nice things about me so I'm gone south Carry on without me I'm gone south, gone to Carolina in my mind. Thank you. Thank you. So my earliest memory of your mom uh, playing the piano and singing. And I think I inherited my talents from her. <laughs> Becky said she got her singing voice from dad, so she won't be singing today. <laughs> All right, um, Deb, do you want to say anything? States one time, and Bill called his wife and said, uh, Mary, come out to San Francisco. We will be here for about four or five days and spend some time with me. So she flew out there, and he invited me and my flight crew to have dinner with he and Mary, his wife. About seven years later, I'm out of the Navy. I'm with Sears Robot and signed to a store. And Asheville, North Carolina. I'm walking down the street and I hear somebody call me and I turn around and lo and behold, it's this parachute rigger's wife, Mary Broaddus. And I said, Mary, what are you doing here? She said, I'm teaching school. I said, well, you invite me, you introduce me to the same school teacher. <laughs> he said, there's only two. Well, I'll invite you. I'm going to introduce you to one. He introduced me to a girl named Evelyn Glass, whose father ran a funeral home. And the guy that I was sharing an apartment with was a TV announcer in, in Asheville. And she introduced him to Ann. And Ann went out with him one time and refused to go out with him again. I dated Evelyn Glass, I guess, for about 
I don't know, three or four weeks, but there's just something about taking your date back to the funeral home and sit, <laughs> sit, <laughs> sitting in their room with a, with a casket. It's not very romantic. So, so I quit dating Evelyn, and one day I'm in the store, and Ann came in, and she recognized me because uh, Mary had introduced us to both of these women at the same time. And she had gone out with the guy that I shared this apartment with and she wouldn't go out with him again. And of course, he came back for the first day and said, she's an iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in, down on the floor in the Sears store and she came in. She had two brothers and they were both in medical school. And she was buying underwear for one of them. Well, I made a big deal out of her buying me shorts. And she thought she was playing with her, her, her brothers. And then she gave me her, I asked her for her phone number, and she gave it to me. And uh, I called her, and I took her to dinner one night. And uh, to a supper club up in the mountains in North Carolina. And then she invited me over for a Sunday dinner. I never took her out again. I just went to her house and ate. <laughs> and, and I did that for seven or eight months. And, and lo and behold, I got transferred to Chicago, to the buying department in Chicago. So I told Ann, I said, honey, I'm getting transferred to Chicago. Why don't we get married and you go up there with me? And she said, hey. If you want to marry me, you'll come back down here and marry me with my family and my church. And I said, you got a deal. And that's what happened. I guess it was about six months later, I got a vacation and I went down and we got married. God really blessed me when he brought Ann into my life. And I buried way above myself, and I know that. He blessed me when he brought all of your friends in my life. And I've got some wonderful friends, believe me. And a lot of them come from barber shopping, a lot of them from others. But anyway, I want to thank you for coming and for being here to help celebrate my wife's life. Now, he's kidding you. He did get a salad for me. <laughs> Beautiful singing voice too. Yeah, I guess um yeah.